This video to show you and educate you about what it's like to plan a trip when you're driving in an electric vehicle. So on the screen here you see that I have my Rivian R1T Launch Edition set up and that takes the J1772 or the CCS charger. Um, so you're going to want to set up your vehicle in uh, PlugShare and PlugShare is one of the two main apps that I use in addition to the vehicle uh, system and planning and mapping. But I really like to do it on the computer first and if I'm in a pinch I'll open up the PlugShare app which is very handy and very helpful. If I'm doing a little bit longer road trip then I'm going to come to PlugShare. There are several different filters that you can take a look at and basically kind of customize the trip that you want to see. So looking at the plug share, you can expand it. I have the Rivian set up in here and I have selected these two options. I don't really want a wall charger. I guess you could add a wall charger. It would give you a couple more options, but a wall charger is like a trickle charger. It's going to take you forever to charge. Keep in mind, I'm trying to do like day trips or, or longer than day trips where I'm going to have multiple stops. So. I have Florida on the map here and I live here in Central Florida and let's say I'm leaving from Melbourne, Florida and I want to travel north. I recently did this trip. I went to Charlotte, North Carolina. What are the fastest charge stations? Scroll down here just a little bit. See the minimum power requirements? These are the charge stations. So you can set if you want to go to a slow charger and of course the slow charging includes the fast charging. But then you want to start filtering. You want to do, you know, 50 kilowatt, you want to do 70. You know what? I want only the fastest ones. All right, 120. And then you might even get some at 200. Those are typically like your Electrify America. And I really like the Electrify America for the fact that they charge really fast. I'm going to come down to here to 50. Kind of gives me a little bit more options. There are a couple different options that you can set up when you're doing the trip itself. If you know that you're not going to be stopping in a Tesla supercharger, you can remove that from your list. Uh, but of course, you want to leave all of them on there to get you the best options uh, available or at least the higher likelihood and, and more choices available. Now you can also filter by hotels. You can figure out you know, what places you go going to eat might have food. So let's take a look at this. What does it look like to plan out a trip? Come down here to Trip Planner and you put your address. So let's say we're starting from Melbourne, Florida and that's somewhere over here. And where do we want to go? Roughly Charlotte, North Carolina. Excellent. So it looks like we're going to make it there. This looks like the route I want to take. It has several chargers along the way and I feel comfortable with several chargers along the way. It helps with the range anxiety. It's basically using Google Maps, which is really helpful. You know Google Maps to be trustworthy. You can show your range estimate based on what you have uh, for your driver settings. So in the Rivian, we have, you know, an all purpose mode. We have a conserve mode. We have a sport mode. If you're gonna drive on a long road trip, most likely you're gonna put it in the conserve mode and you know how many miles you're gonna get with that. You're gonna get around 293 miles when you leave your house fully charged. We know that we can change that if it was a little bit less. So if it was 256 or anything less, we can change that. Let's go ahead and get this set up to 293, slowly. And then we know that, that line that's drawn around Melbourne, Florida there indicates about how far we can go on one single charge. Now keep in mind, we're driving in conserve mode. The circle does not account for pathing, uh, which is like taking different roads, the elevation, road, weather condition, or anything else. So they're telling you, plan accordingly. And so you don't want to drive all the way to 100% and show up somewhere up here in Savannah, Georgia, where you are just sweating and dreading that somewhere along the lines, your air conditioning didn't drain your vehicle. So I would opt to plan for somewhere down here in Brunswick. Just coming up here for me, I just don't feel comfortable and that's when range anxiety comes into play, when you start questioning whether you're going to arrive or not arrive. So let's see what this is. Okay, so this is Brunswick, Georgia. Let's click on this. So this is a Walmart Supercenter and the rating on this is a 7.9. I do like Walmart Supercenters. I feel that there are people there. I feel comfortable and I really like Electrify America. Electrify America itself is a fast charging network and they are more or less reliable, question mark. Uh, I have been uh, on trips where some of the stations have not worked. Now I see down here it costs 32 cents per minute. So let's just estimate that we're gonna charge, you could charge from 35 minutes to honestly, you could charge up to an hour. 
and typically for my vehicle going from 20% to around 80% charge it takes about 35 minutes I put that in another video it takes about 35 minutes to go from 20 to 80% charge beyond 80% charge they really throttle you it slows you down and it takes a lot longer to charge so at 32 cents a minute again I'm overestimating for the sake of this video uh, 32 cents a minute times 60 minutes it's gonna cost us $19.20 but I am overestimating I'm telling you it's gonna take about 35 to 45 minutes so let's do 32 cents times 45 minutes it's gonna cost us around $14.40 to charge at this Brunswick charging station if you want to get more details about that charging station you can click on it um, and people post pictures of their vehicles uh, charging and people can also notify others that if a charge station is down or not working and that's always really helpful uh, now keep in mind you might arrive at a, a station and you know this guy is you know towing along his motorcycle and it might block a charger so just be aware of that and plan ahead so we like this it's a Walmart Supercenter let's go ahead and add that to the trip and we'll come over here on the right hand side and we see going from Melbourne Florida to this Walmart Supercenter in Brunswick it takes it's 244 miles and we're going to be safe now we're only charging to 80 percent full at this point at this brunswick so let me bring up the calculator here and show you what i'm talking about we know that we can charge to 80 percent full or 80 percent capacity and we know that starting at the beginning full battery to us is 293 miles if we're only charging to 80 percent full times 0.8 we're gonna be at 234 miles. So when we leave Brunswick, Georgia, and we're heading out, we only have 234 miles range. So we're gonna to need to come over here and modify the range to 234 miles. All right, so look at this, leaving Brunswick, we can head all the way up here. We're not gonna quite get to Charlotte. I like to play it safe. Now, if you feel comfortable and you have extra time, then I suggest you do that. So therefore, I'm probably gonna stop right here. And this is Waltersboro, South Carolina. And I see here, it's a, another Walmart Supercenter. And it is also an Electrify America. And like I mentioned earlier, I feel good about Electrify America and I also feel good about Walmart Supercenters. So here we are going to be paying 31 cents per kilowatt hour. So they're not charging by the minute. In fact, they're charging by the kilowatt hour and how much electricity you add to your vehicle. I am going to add that to my trip. Now you notice the change from red here to green into green. Uh, originally it was green here but when we came down to the bottom and we changed our range estimate so keep in mind we had 293 miles here that was all green but when we went to 234 miles that turned red but we knew that we had already made that leg of the trip and we're good we're going here to Brunswick and then we're going to Waltersboro from Waltersboro we should have enough juice at 234 miles to make it all the way up here to Charlotte North Carolina Keep in mind, there's an elevation difference. So here's the overview of what we selected for this trip. We're going to Brunswick, we're going to Waltersboro, then finally we're going to Charlotte. What's that elevation look like? So in Florida, we start out pretty much at sea level. And as we start going, we start climbing those mountains. And keep in mind, that wasn't accounted for in our planning here. So you're gonna need to keep an eye on your vehicle and make sure that you can make it all the way there. Now, keep in mind what I did I played it safe. I didn't drive it all the way to zero. And maybe if we drove it all the way to zero, I wouldn't have a charger. Uh, let's say I try to make it all the way up here to South Carolina and I pass this Waltersboro. Well, there aren't any chargers between here and here. So I might have a really difficult time trying to make it to my ultimate destination. Now, there is a trick I can teach you along the way. If there are any KOA campgrounds or any campgrounds, you can go and charge there. You might have to stay overnight and, and pay for, for the camping, but that's one tip and trick I've learned along the way. If you've made it this far in the video, I really do appreciate it. I, I have fun making these videos and it's a hobby for me. And if you enjoy watching these videos, please subscribe, share it with a friend. And if you wanna see more, leave a comment. Let me know what you're looking for. I'll be happy to make these videos. Thanks for watching guys.